Okay, looks like we got a good run in here. We're gonna cut that player. We need to recruit there. Okay, things are looking good for next season. Okay. Ciao. Please stop calling. Stop. Stop it. Okay, where were we? We were just so. Not my favorite! Hello, my friends, welcome in. It's getting old. Foon, it's getting old. They keep coming in. The last offer was like 16 grand, and it was going to blow our transfer record out of the window, which sounds just sad. Um, he, he's already signed a new contract, so like he hasn't complained, but it makes you nervous, doesn't it? It makes you nervous when one of your best prospects, who's actually improving, is getting sniffs from elsewhere. Like, I'm afraid somebody, like, Thune is going to live with, and then, like, a, a City of Bay team is going to be like, oh, and then he's going to be like, I want to go, I want to move up, I want to go, I want to go. And we're going to be like, I need a million euros, because we are going broke, my friend. <laughs> 16 grand. Oh, it's so bad. And there's not much I can do about it. I'm afraid they're going to, like, slash our wage budget for next season, then we're going to be really in trouble. So, from a competition standpoint, it's going all right. Uh, since you last saw us, we drew with Imodese, which was really disappointing because we scored a beautiful goal in the 11th minute. And then the booty with a double yellow card gets sent off. And after that, we immediately concede because that's what happens when you play with 10. Um, then we played Semben de Tesse and got a 45th minute goal. It was kind of a choppy game, but it worked out. We're not really dominating possession. Um, it's not as bad as it has been. Like We're not down like in the 28% range. Um, this game, we were down to the 33%. So... Um, but Vincenza is quite good, and we got all kind. Of, I don't think the referee liked our, our style of play and was sending a message. Um, we beat Fermana FC, again, Brodich, with another goal. He, he, he's on fire. He's got 10 goals and 21, my friends. Ooh, really glad we extended him. Really glad we extended him. Quite a tasty nugget, if you ask me. Um, That's kind of what's going on. Club Vision, they're still reserving judgment. We've not signed. I mean, I'm curious if it counts. Maybe you all know because you've played more seasons than I have, right? Like, I'm just kind of, this is my first season in FM20 and with an actual club. Is it going to count all the players we signed for the under-20 team towards that? Or is it just the ones that I signed for the senior team? Like, the loan for Roberts, Vipes, the signing of Dennis Van Varenberg, which is a fantastic name. Um, things like that. So I'm, I'm just kind of curious. Um, you know, working within the wage budget on course, pleased, you know, not judging the, that we got knocked out of the cup. And I, I did notice, I can't remember if I said this last episode, it's the Serie C cup. It's, it's not the Coppa Italia. I thought it was the Coppa Italia. That it probably explains why there's not any money in it. Really? That, that probably explains a lot of things now, doesn't it? Um, overall, they're giving me a B. So they're concerned about Lunetta, Verone, um, our draw with Alto Adige. Um, overall, pretty good. They're they're most happy that the squad likes me, which is good. Um, the matches, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of disappointing, honestly, that that it's a C plus when you're getting wins, right? Like because they're one nil, and it tells you, right, less than exciting football. Inability to retain possession, but it's like we, we can't all play attacking football, guys. We can't all play. we're in third. Like what do you, what do you want from me? We're in third. Like we can play try playing possessive football that uh, you know gives us a lot more goals and concedes a lot more goals, but we might not be in third. Now it's close. Again, I I'm really impressed with how close it is, right? Like what is that? Seven points across third through ninth. Ten points if you go third through tenth. Really not a lot of wiggle room. Got a ways to go still. I don't think I I it does help us if I if, if just as a reminder. 
you know, you do, if you are in at least fourth place, you move ahead a round. So if we could, if we could somehow, somehow stay in third, we'd move ahead two rounds, which would be a massive chance. Again, I, I'm not sure we want to get promoted, but it would be a massive chance to do that. Today, my friends, we take on Padova, and then I'm going to hop forward and put, come back for Sasana. Or Sasana. Um, we're favored. I'm not sure why we're favored. They're in second. 11 points clear. They've got Benjamin Mokulu, doubtful, with a pulled groin. I don't know. I, I thought we couldn't sign players from non-EU. But I guess he's got Belgian nationality, and that counts. Maybe. I don't. I don't. The rules. But it's we're missing Rossi. I I don't know why. I mean, I know it's it, just the fact that it's close, right? Like I know we're favored, but it's just like by a smidge. But like I I still don't know why we're favored even by a smidge. Um, we're gonna try passing it into space, higher tempo. I've got distribute to the flanks on now to get it away from our, our, our center backs who cannot cannot pass the ball. Um, I've taken Unai off of ball playing defender. He's not. That was probably a mistake. Signing him was probably a mistake. Is what it comes down to because um, we've got him on a contract until the end of next season. Um, but you know, I, I can't do anything about that. He, he's just not going to get better at passing and vision. So I'm just going to play him on a cover. Because he's he's still pretty good at that, um, and he's five foot eleven, so I'd, you know, cover, get those through balls, things like that. Um, he's not done well. That I, maybe it's the system. It could be the system that we've got. All of our center backs are just like meh, um, and we've got the standard line of engagement, standard defensive line. Um, we're trying to prevent short goalkeeper distribution. I want to say their goalkeeper. There's a reason I had that on. Yeah, his passing is not great. His kicking is all right, but maybe I'm just hoping that like that's gonna force him. Oh my, they're going four two four. Um, maybe that'll force him to kick it towards our packed midfield. You know, we're just trying some things. I'm really not too fussed about this result. It is, it is. You know, it's a quote big game, but you know, it's also they're eleven points above us. You know, like what do you want from me? Oh, sweet tea with an orange. Highly recommend. You guys are like, you put sugar in your tea. There is something wrong with you. Um, yes. Mm, no one's... I mean, some of them were okay with it, but... Let's go make a difference, lads. I like when you answer the question. They're like, no, no, no. They're going to want a proper answer. It's like, I answered your question, sir. Alicio Zamboni. Um, it is Zamboni, right? Um, hockey? Anyway. Uh, what is thinking behind a sudden change in tactical style during what has been a good run of form? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, lads? I, I, I don't are they aware that we're going to distribute it to the flanks i think there's a mole inside the organization the journalists know too much my friends um we have to believe we can beat them because we can't there's a lot of questions oh boy um let's put a dent in their ambitions yes oh look at the fan support at home mm, i mean there's some people in the upper decks the, ch the cheaper tickets i suppose it's like, come on, boys. Come on, lads. All right, we're not at 30% possession. Oh, oh, we've we've edged it. We've ed oh, the crowd's shown up. Um, oh, that's oh, and I okay. Mm -hmm. mm, well, this is going to be tricky. I'm gonna leave it. I have these two set up because they can both play both both positions to switch. Now that means Verone may go and get himself sent off as he switches over to the uh the central midfield and defend i don't think the ease off tackles follows you so like if he switches back it may you know you know what i'm saying oh boy that was too easy that was, that was too easy i'm thinking about replacing our goalkeeper um he's down to three stars he's starting to fall apart and the 23 year old that we started uh, volatini at the start of the season did quite well for us so 
and he's got upside potential. And then we've got the 18 year old um, that we signed that is only one and a half stars, but I'm thinking about making him the backup next season and just putting him on under 20 duties where like he's available all the time for the under 20s. Um, but at the same time, he's our backup. We could put him in some of the, you know, if we make a Serie C cup run or something like that. Um, this is a big bucket of garbage. They've had three shots. All three have been on target. Show me something else. Don't get sent off. So, again, I do have the midfielders set up to, or Verona and Icardi set up to switch, and Scapini and Brodic set up to switch to hopefully confuse the opposition. Martinelli picks. It's a bruised knee, brother. It's not. Come on. Come on. You, you got a knock on your knee. You're fine. You're fine. Um, We're really not doing anything, are we? All right. All right, lads. All right. Oh, we don't have anybody besides Brodic who just picked up a yellow who can play here. Whoop. I uh, don't think. Nope. Sure don't. Lunetta in a, an absolute bind could do it, but... See, this is... <clears throat> This is the problem we face with the 5-3-2, is we don't really have an option when, when like, we go behind. It's kind of like, well, I hope that our existing system keeps working, and I think that is a flaw. Again, it's gotten us to third this season, so I can't really complain too much, but I'd like to have a slightly more attacking option. Um, what do we do here? What do we do? Our midfield's playing all right. Brodich is not. So we're going to see if we can get the tall lad up here. The problem is, in this situation, I have to come in and tell these guys to not switch. Okay, never mind. Apparently I don't. I was lying. Um, so ping it up here. thinking about bringing in cargo and putting him on the left because he can play an attacking midfield on the left but it just seems like a poor idea uh, we're gonna go attacking I guess I did look at our, our team stats and we are really high on tackling like percentage wise um, okay you're playing terrible Anybody who wants to come on, Spano, come on down. And then Marcos, come on down. Oh, pulled groin Lunetta. No, no. <laughs> Favelli comes in. Romano's anxious. Accardi needs Matt Sharpness. This is a terrible idea. We're going to try it. I'm hoping with the target man, he'll knock it down. Maybe put him on. No, we'll put him on attack. He'll knock it down. Cargo, Cargo can come running here. Verone. Stay doing that. We'll switch you to... Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it, boys. You be a box to box. We're gonna have no support in the midfield because they're gonna be all, all, all of them, all two of them are gonna be running forward. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, friends. <laughs> uh, passing is not going well, so maybe the passing into space is off. Maybe we'll try slightly more direct. Keep the tempo up. Try and simplify it a little bit. Maybe push the line up a little bit. Try and try and be a little bit more combat, compact. I don't. I really. Th this is the problem. We are the sit back and and uh, you know try and counter team. It, it's a classic. If you're that team, right? You, you're trying to counter attack, and then someone scores on you, and it's like, oh, oh, I don't know what to do. There's five minutes left. Can we win this and go on a run? Augustus plays it forward. To DVV. Scapini with all the room in the world. Can he get past the one man? He does! I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that worked. We're going to go back to positive. I can't believe it. 
does he get he gets an assist for that for the for the the sideways pass? I mean, I suppose. What a finish. What a finish. We We will take it. I you know, I had to wait. I had to wait. I had to wait to make sure it was going to get there. We will take it. You've done brilliantly to come back and draw against I, I don't care that it's rivals. Second place in the league, my friends. Let's hop forward. Seriously, stop calling. Stop calling. They want a potential value in excess of 41,000. I think the board's going to I think we're going to get to a point where the board's just going to accept it and that's going to be that's going to be problems, my friends. That's going to be a problem and it's you know, no, go away. Where's the go away? Stop. Stop. Oh, and it turns out it's their transfer record, not ours. That that makes more sense. We smashed them, people. Smashed them. 4-0. Four, 4-0. Nil. Four, nil. Four, nil. Stefano Scapini with a 31-minute hat trick. Now, after that, we kind of did nothing, but I'm not really complaining. He's on a 9.6, Icardi on an 8.3. They, they had, oh, I mean, I'll show you. Here's here's uh, Stefano's third goal. Okay, yeah. What what is that? So it was more of those types of events than it was us being absolutely outstanding. I want to say Icardi um, was just a ball over the top, you know, passing into space, which is what we've been practicing. Um, and he, that's a slots at home quite nicely. So I, I'm I'm not complaining. We we it just seems like we either score a bunch or we score like none or one. Like there's not like we don't have a lot of two game two goal games, right? Um, but we did change to a um, five two one two because they were at the time they were fourteenth. I think now because of the loss, they're fifteenth, and so we did adjust that to put Rossi up here just to give us a little bit more of attacking thrust. I played positive, um, but I, I don't know if that was the difference or it's just that you know they're not very good. The other bit of news, my friends. A potential takeover. The club would need to receive an offer truly worthy of consideration if they're in it. That makes that mm, not good. Also, I want to show you this. Oh, Francesco Barba. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Now, we did bring him in in the last game once we were up 4-0. I think I brought him in at like the 60th minute around there, something like that. So he wasn't like a start. Currently operating at Serie D, 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 D level. Um, but... Oh, with the green. Look at the green. Straight up arrows, my friends. Mm, here we go. We're officially in the red, my friends. 53 grand. There's been another thing about a takeover. I'm nervous. The projection's back down to 724 grand and 2 million. Now, you could argue <laughs> that the projection for the end of next season, that, that's not as big of a drop. We've th If this happens, we will have dropped like 2 million. Now, that's probably also because we haven't like re-signed all of our contracts. So maybe that's why. But it'll be interesting, my friends. We are slightly favored and in third by a nose. Um, Sasenia would like to... They would jump us with a win because of goal differential. Unless the sorting rules are something else. This is, again, how we're lining up. We are at home. We brought Romano in um, to, to rotate out Verone. He's not really played well in the last five. And Rossi, it's because he's on a deep line playmaker. Rossi is going to play an attacking midfielder rather than on an advanced playmaker. Accardi stays in as a right foot only. I'm just trying to – his match sharpness is taking forever. Let's, let's be fair. Um, and we, we did start Volatini in the last game, and he gave us a 7.8. So – I think we're going to have a goalkeeper um, crisis here where it's like, okay, a good kind of crisis. Like, which ones do we go with, right? Um, they're okay. Four, three, four, three, but with DMs and wingbacks. So the middle of the park should be open is how I'm reading that. Either, okay, I'm going to tell, I'm going to change this up. No, I'm going to hit early crosses and play through the middle. So if we have it on the wings, get rid of it so you can get back. Um, because you've got two guys on each side that you're dealing with, their winger and wingback. Um, and then play through the middle because we should have numbers there. Is that... I, I, I wish I could talk to you, friend. If you're watching this, I consider you a friend. Um, I'm going to say continue where he left off. Yeah, we played well last time. Nobody cares about that. So we're going to say... Hello. 
And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say hello. Oh, look at that. Look at that, my friends. All green or teal or aquamarine, if you will. Um, let's go put on a show. I, I, I air towards the don't get sent off. Um, he's just being rusted. And he's not playing. He's a 656, six, my friends. There's there's the reasons. There's lots of reasons we didn't include him, okay? Possession starting quite tastily. I guess because maybe these all hang back a little bit. Oh, I forgot to do... What does is, what is our assistant pick? He thinks we should show on two foot. Why? Sure. We'll see if our assistant's crazy. We've got the only on-target shots of the game. Okay. We got possession. This is weird. We're like, possession. <laughs> What's happening? Maybe that's their game plan, is they, they give teams possession they don't that don't want it. Unai! Oh, it dribbles in! It's an own goal from Vergara. Unai is not even going to get on the, the official box score for it. Or the stat sheet. But the now no longer ball playing defender now just cover central central defender. Oh, was the clearance off the back of this guy's head? Is that what happened? That's hilarious. There was some doinkage, my friends. All right, they've had two on target shots. That is unmarked, my friends. You might, I'm just saying, just an idea on a set piece. If there's someone standing without a marker, somebody should do something about that. And it's not me. I'm not out there. I can all I want, but you know. We did take the tighter marking off because they've got pretty good teamwork. Franco plays it back out wide. Okay. Fav is that Favelli? Oh, I mean, you just stood there. He's 19. But, mate, you just, you just stood there. You just stood there and let him tower over you. Let's get the behind the goal look on this one. There's, there's our target. Just jump. Oh, like he like bunny hopped. He didn't even give it, like, a full hop. Keep it up. I'm happy. We, we've we been looking good. We've been on top of him from a possession standpoint. That was just... That was a fluke. It was a fluke, my friends. We're going to come back. Oh, no. Is that the... I got distracted. Is that the... Is that the guy we wanted to sign? That's the guy we wanted to sign. I can't remember if I told you that. He he extended his contract. I feel like there were other things I was going to tell you. He extended his contract instead of taking our offer. Gutting, you could say. Um, we extended Barba, and uh, we had at some point a six-game unbeaten uh, club record streak, but that's, that's, that's no longer the case, my friends. I think it's time for a demand more. Sorry about that, I had an important phone call come in. And that important phone call was telling me to demand more. I was tempted to, to play, like, a, a deeper line to force these guys out, and then we could try and beat them over the top, but that appears to not be working. Because I didn't do it. Uh, Favelli, I've been playing Favelli more. He played well last time, and because Lunetta's not going to be here, and we apparently are not going to be able to sign a left wing back. That's, I probably should have explained that further. Um, but that's why he's been playing. Spano. Hey, um, let's bring in the tall dude. Maybe, maybe we can get an advantage with the tall dude. We've had possession. That's what's so frustrating about this. Um, we're also, sorry, I'm going to close down. We're going to go after the guy that didn't sign for us. Okay. We're going to exploit the right flank here. I'm going to take that off. Because they've got yellows over there. Maybe we can take advantage. Or not, my friends. Any 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 suggestions from the crowd? Anybody? Any, anybody? Anybody? I mean... One, two, three, four. We can only make one more change. So... 
These guys are playing well. I'm gonna do this, I guess. Make him a Shadow Striker. Bring on Marchy. Marchy, you've been wanting to play, brother. Show me freaking what you've got. Strawberry attacking. We need it. Uh, conceding another one's not going to hurt us, you know? So, let's see. All right. Lubuti brings it down nicely. Pings it forward. Oh, Marchy misses it, of course. Great. Great. Great showing. Great showing. You want to play, and then you, you completely whiff on a header. Lubuti's going to try it again, isn't he? He's going to just ping it forward. He dribbles around his man. Acardi also on a yellow. Play it back. Play. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky. Oh, please let that work out. Uh, it falls to him. I guess it quasi works out, and then he's going to shoot it right at the keeper. Uh, that was nice. A little behind the, behind the leg pass. We've not created a single chance, my friends. We're at home. What is with the missed headers? I guess it works. Romano turns. Okay, there's a lot of blue in between us and the goal. Wabuti again. Again, we're going up against the guys on the yellows. And then he runs away. He runs away, my friends. Oh, now I'm going to run forward. Excellent work. Yeah, yeah, fantastic stuff there, Labuti. What are you doing, brother? Franco plays it over. This this smells like a counterattacking goal. Lynetta says, oh, oh, stick with it. Oh, why would you back off? You just, oh, why would he do that? Oh, they hit the post. Oh, and of course, they get the ball back. They've got late runners. Oh, we, we intercept. Is the highlight going to continue? Akardi plays it. This is the like, most bizarre set of highlights. <laughs> what is that? What was that? Oh, it's too late. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to pause. Oh, my. Oh. I wasn't. I thought it was going to just tick, tick the full time. Oh, last chance there for Lunette. And it goes over. I feel like the media thinks we should be doing better than we are. Um, I'm just going to say unlucky boys. They're a good team. I'm not upset. Not upset. We're supposed to be eighth or ninth. Okay. Now we're only like a loss away from eighth, but we've had a really good season. Okay. We're, we're an absurd number of points away from not being in the playoffs. So we're not going to, we're not going to win the league. We're probably not going to get promoted, but like we're, we're building a foundation. And I like, they've given me questions at the press conferences. Like, Oh, you know, you got to change things. Cause blah, blah, blah. And it's like, what? Maybe it's just like the media's perspective, right? Maybe that's what SI is doing here. They're like, Hey, the media is going to have a different perspective than what's going on inside the club. Cause the club's like, dude, we're happy. Like reach the playoffs, work within the wage budget, help us. Oh, we got some, some revenue. We're just barely, Early state of the black. It's still oh, that's even worse. Oh, all right, my friends. Again, I, since we are solidly in mid table, like it would be an absolute disaster if we don't make the playoffs, and it would be a miracle if we made up a fourteen point gap. Fair, I think that's fair. So I'm gonna bring you back for the last two games. All these teams are not great. Goodness, we, we we got a good run in night to, to finish the season. 19th, 20th, 14th, 13th, 15th. We could pick up potentially, why would I say this? 15 points there. Um, I think I'm just going to show you maybe Fano and we'll do the end of season awards. I, I'm trying not to have like 14 episodes every season, right? I'm trying to like space it out. This is more of like setting the foundation, getting, getting a setup for success moving forward. I do like playing the 5-3-2, even though it hasn't been the most exciting necessarily, like, except here and like the occasional 5-0, 5-1. Um, but I want to I wanna see if we can kind of get to that squad cleanout phase and make some decisions on our older center backs um, and stuff like that. But I'd like to know your thoughts on that. I still, you know, if we can sit, sit here and hit something crazy like 150 likes today, that'd be absolutely mental. Um... It really does help. I didn't mention it at the start of the episode because I just want to kind of test. Um, but, you know, it's anytime I ask for it, we get it, which is kind of crazy. The first three episodes at the time of recording have gotten all past a thousand views, which is insane. The first two videos have well over 300 likes. The third video has got 180 at the time of that I'm talking. Did I say a time of writing? Did I say. <sighs> 
the fourth video is at 763 views, but probably in the next couple of days we'll reach a thousand and it's almost a 200 likes. So I feel like I, ha I hammer that drum a lot. Maybe you hear it from other creators hammering that drum a lot, but that's why is if we can do that, it really does. It's massive. Like you cannot understand how massive it is. Um, my friends, I'm quite pleased. I mean, if you look at what we've done right here, right? Since, since the winter break, I think it's pretty solid. Um, I think what we did before was a little, like a little inconsistent, especially starting right about here. Um, but I, I'm quite pleased with where we've been. Our two, um, losses have been to teams in the top five or six. So it's not like we've lost to somebody we shouldn't have lost to. And we'll come back again. I, I, this is the tough part, right? Seventh, second, and then it, it, it gets a little easier theoretically. We'll have to see how it ends up. We'll see you for the end of season awards. Um, and what is it? Oh, uh, Alma Juventus Fano. Ah, yes. Have a good one. Thank Seriously. Thanks for watching. Seriously. No, really. Thanks patrons.